Trigger my gun. Ready, Mr. Potter. How many does that make? Well, roughly, sir, at least 20. Oh, not bad for an amateur. Amateur? Not with your clay pigeon record. Clean it. Yes, sir. Morning, Nev. You just missed seeing me do some pretty fast shooting. I may have missed seeing you, darling, but I certainly heard you. I got at least 20 bullseyes. Or should I say, crocs eyes. Sort of a jungle version of Slaughter Day at the stockyard. You know, that's what I like about Africa. You don't have to go too far for your game. Those crocs are a cinch. Good practice, though, for later on. You're quite the sportsman, Nevin. No, I'm just anxious to get on where there's real hunting. I hope I don't disappoint the boys at the club. Oh, don't tell me you promised them a specimen to hang over the mantel. Mm-hmm. How'd you know? Skip it. Have you seen my dad anywhere? Mm-hmm. He's in the bar, as usual. Come on. Yes, sir, I'm going back there every drill a bunch of rare animals that'll make the New York Zoo look like a hit count proposition. Single-handed, Pop? <laughs> oh, hello, kids. Sit down. Have one of these, Nev. They're called Tiger Kisses. No, thanks. Well, fix me another one, Johnny. Yes, sir. Johnny's been telling me all about Africa. My mistake, Dad. I thought you were telling him. Yeah? <laughs> You're having a swell time, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. I always have a swell time. <laughs> this trip's just what I needed. I'm full of enthusiasm. I've been sitting here getting loaded with ideas. Are you sure it isn't those Tiger's Kisses? Now, listen, Nevin. A good idea never came out of a seltzer bottle. Now put that in your pipe and smoke it. And do you smoke a pipe? No, nothing but cigarettes. Uh, <laughs> Elder, I don't know what you're going to do with this uh, puss fiance of yours. You'll have to teach him to enjoy life. <laughs> Dad, you can lead a horse to water. To horse? I don't think that was very funny. The music's getting on my nerves. I rather like it. Yeah, sure. The drums of Africa. Well, drums of Africa or no drums of Africa, it's driving me crazy. Hello, Mother. How's your hay fever? <laughs> Fine. Roger, I want you to go to that savage's cabin and make him stop that noise. Well, that's an African drum, Fanny. I don't care what it is. I want you to stop it. Well, I won't do it. Roger Reed. <laughs> I run my house. You see that <laughs> star? <laughs> I'll go, Fanny. Come on, Elma. Thank you, Nibbon. I'm certainly glad our daughter's going to marry a gentleman. You ought to know you picked him. <gasps> Shoo! Shoo! Good morning. Say, can't you stop that music? Well, His Excellency may resent any intrusion. His Excellency? Who is he, anyway? Well, he's Ben Alabe. Well, he acts like he owns the boat. Well, it's quite possible he does. He owns a lot of property in this country. Well, if the boat is his, he's certainly entitled to his music. He comes from around Nyamagara, way deep in the jungle. He controls all of the natives back there. Has a lot of emerald mines, too. Is he young, good-looking, married? Oh, I understand that he has, oh, some hundred-odd wives. Odd? Yes, you know. One, three, five, seven, nine. That's odd. He's quite an extraordinary chap. Travels to the capitals of Europe every year. Well-educated. Oxford, I believe. Fact is, he's on his way home from Paris now. Spends his money like water. Brings back the best that civilization has to offer. But what does he do with it? Well, I've never seen it myself. But I understand that he has a very beautiful palace back in the jungle. Lives like a king. What a very unusual man. Oh, quite. And many interesting stories about him, too. Not all good. Oh. Those rumors seem to be true. Nanda Laguchi. 
for the lady. Nana. Pardon. A big idea. Look, ma'am. Send it right back, Eleanor. Of course. But it's a beautiful ruby, isn't it? Now, look. Uh, uh, you uh, uh, take that back to, uh, to boss. Savvy? Why, certainly, sir. I understand perfectly. Thank you. Darling, are you starting in already to be the heavy husband, even before we're married? <clears throat> Good morning. Good morning. out who's guiding the Reed party. Yes, sir. Now, listen, Olaf. You behave yourself on this trip. It's the last job you'll ever do for this company. Don't worry about me, Chief. I'm on the wagon. What kind of a party is it? They're rich Americans. Want to bring back rare animals for a zoo. That's easy. How long do they want to be out? Oh, about five or six weeks. I'll take care of them. Now, remember, no hooch. Okay. Come on. Uh, Make part. Uh, are you Mr. Roger Reed? Yeah, that's me. Uh, I'm Mr. Johnson. I'm manager of the Safari Company. <laughs> Getting drivers, eh? Yeah. And this is Olaf Clemens. Uh, he's going to uh, guide your safari. This is my wife, Mrs. Reed. How do you do? How do you do? Mr. Potter, do you my do? daughter, and Jiggers. Don't worry about the luggage, Mr. Reed. I'll take care of everything. Uh -huh. We'll leave in the cool of the afternoon. Uh -huh. Better go in the hotel and get comfortable. <laughs> I get you. Oh, order me a tiger's kiss. Don't get over-enthusiastic about that eye. It's just a nervous affliction. Oh, I get you. Hurry it up, Cokie. Yes. Opesi, Opesi. Opesi. I've always paid you well. Oh, sure, that part of it's all right. What is it in my proposal that you fear? It'd be an awful yell if the girl is... Oh, you don't trust me. I'd be blamed. But I'm paying you well. Yes, I'm satisfied, but... But what? I don't know. I'll take care of everything. And you will not be blamed. All right. What do you expect me to do? I'll get in touch with you, but all in good time. Well, you don't want to walk. Well, why can't we stay here and rest a few days before we start? Oh, I'll be a sport, Penny. You can't be tired even before we started. Oh, I was tired of the whole thing when you first got the idea. Shoo! That's four, Mrs. Reed. Four what? Mrs. Reed has only sneezed four times this past hour. Oh, I'm getting better. <laughs> we the hour before. Oh, well, come on, let's go. We're ready to go, Mr. Reed. All right, let's start. Nando Percy! Jigger! 
Jigga! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jigga, you got my guns? Yes, right here, sir. This is going to be fun, Dad. I'm so excited. I told you it was going to be swell. <laughs> if Evans Bill could only see us now, eh? Hey? I wanted to see. Those big fellas. <laughs> Just look at them enjoying themselves. Saturday night in Africa. <laughs> they seem quite tame. Don't you believe it? They're not. Put down that gun, Nevin. You fool. You want him to stampede? Might have cost us our lives. Why did you fire that shot? What do you mean, why? There's a whole herd of them. They're not your fault. The herd is still whole. Yeah, we're not on this trip to kill Wanton. And will you please tell me why you brought all these guns? To give us an even break. Not to try to mow down all the animals in Africa. Fool! Fool! Amanda! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Palmer. <laughs> It's lovely here. Just like the park in Evansville. Yeah. Only the mosquitoes are larger. Oh. <laughs> Confounded mosquitoes would stop biting. I just got three at one time. <laughs> Cross in that log. No, Nevin, I think we better go back. Oh, come on. Don't be a softy. Get out of that mess. I can't, you idiot. I'm stuck in the mud up to my knees. Here, I grab my hand. Oh, you're just awkward, that's all. You're just helpless, that's all. Well, I'll have to go and try and get a little something to pull you out with. No, never do. Ha, ha, ha. 
Here I am. Wasn't I quick? Oh, very. I've only had time to be rescued once since you left. What? I said I've already been rescued once. Here, catch. My other rescuer didn't find it such hard work. Oh, yeah? What are you talking about? Oh, nothing. Just that a big brute came along while you were gone and pulled me out. Were you molested by apes? No. The man helped me out and the monkey just sat on the log and watched. You know there's no man nearer than our camp. There is, too. He dropped right down out of the treetops in a onesie bathing suit. You've got a fever. I have not. The man helped me out and the monkey watched, I tell you. And how did you get back into the swamp? He pushed me back in again. I'm afraid this heat is too much for her. I'm sure of it. She's getting right out of the sun when we get back to camp. I'm not having a sunstroke. It all happened, I tell you. I know. You'll be all right. You'll sleep it off. Now, come on. Mother, if nothing hadn't already told us, it's plain to see she fell in the mud. Yes, and a man pulled me out while a monkey watched. You'd better get it a bed. Why, aren't you all right? Of course I am. Only Nevin thinks I've had a sunstroke because I told him a man, a real flesh and blood man, rescued me long before he got back. Hey, what is all this? It's, it's really true, Dad. A man and a chimpanzee dropped down out of the trees and sat right on the log beside me. Well, what about that, Nevin? She was still in the swamp when we got back. I think you'd better put her to bed. Oh. Now, come on. All right, come on. Come on. Ben Ali Bay to have his men there. Sit for one. Ben Ali Bay, send this. Keep points away from mouth, wind blow, and kill quick. I've been thinking we'd better uh, break camp and move on. Well, why? 
I'm satisfied with the specimen guy bagged here. Yeah, but uh, you haven't got your white crocodile yet. Mm. Uh, where'd you say you'd find them? Uh, they're supposed to be plentiful on the other side of the New Ban River, a few kilometers from here. Yeah. Be worthwhile if we could cross over. Well, uh, there's a bridge there. What, here in this jungle? <laughs> it's crude, but safe. The natives built it. Mm. All right. Tell the boys to pack up. I will. Koki, get this stuff cleaned up out of here. Nanda! I want you to cut out that shooting. I'm here to collect animals, not to kill them. Why don't we camp here and work out from this country? But what about the white crocodiles I promised you? All right. <laughs> Can you imagine me taking a white crocodile back to heaven? White crocodiles. If there are any, I bet I'll look one out and painted them. But why would he do that? Well, he wants to make the trip last as long as possible. He's getting paid for it, isn't he?
Well, what is it? The lioness. She came for her cubs. Well, what scared her off? Tarzan, that man from the jungle. He fought her. How much quinine have you taken, Eleanor? Oh, Dad. Tarzan fellow is in there. I'll find out. Come on, Jiggle, let you and I go in and see. Is that you, Mrs. Reed? Oh, the hell, sir. Something's captured me. You guess she won't hurt you. Did you catch him, Evans? No, just a monkey. The fellow, if there was one, got away. If there was one, who do you think saved me from the liners? This is the same monkey that was with him at the mud hole. Oh, you too? Shoo! Well, it's a mighty fine-looking specimen. Put it in a cage, you jiggers. No, I don't want to. Jigger, put it in the cage. Come on, he won't hurt you. Well, the excitement seems to be over for tonight. Let's go to bed. What's up? The animals are gone. The chimpanzee, too? Yes, all of them. Well, how could oh. that have happened? Well, look. <laughs> now, who could have done that? I know. Tarzan. He's strong enough to have done it easily. Oh, nonsense, Eleanor. It would have taken ten men to bend those bars. Nevertheless, he could do it. There are footprints here. Yes. Bare feet, too. And only one set of prints. Perhaps Eleanor hasn't had a sunstroke. Maybe there is a Tarzan. But, Nevin, why can you possibly want to capture him? Just why? He's not an animal. Shoo! I don't want any mysterious person hanging around our camp while he might murder us all in the night. But he's proven himself to be a friend, not an enemy. We'll see when we find him. Well, all right. Let's get. Joe 20. Ellen, I want you to stay right here until they find that wild man. It's just what I don't want them to do. Oh. Why did I ever leave home?
Good. Good. Go down! Go down! Go down! Hold on, Wanakuja! Hapa! Wanakuja! What's up, Koki? Hey, it's the Tarzan and Thick White Girl from camp. What? Which way did they go? Hapa and Akuja. And Akuja, Hapa! What is that? He showed you. Nanta, Nanta!
Oh, my God. I thought I'd lost you forever. I thought so, too, Dad. Ellen, are you all right? Yes, quite. Well, what happened? Well, at first I was frightened, but after that, I believe I really began to enjoy myself. For goodness sake, Helen, tell us what happened I'm to you. I'm trying to, but you keep interrupting. It was Tarzan. What? I really don't believe he meant any harm. He just sort of showed me the sights of the jungle. Where is he? Which way did he go? We'll get him this time. Oh, him. Uh, he left me here early yesterday. I stayed thinking you'd find me more easily if I remained in one spot. Tarzan must be miles away from here by now. Yeah, well, let's get back to your mother as fast as we can. Well, Google, how? Huh? We're going to break camp. That suits me. Oh, no. Well, why not? Oh, it's nice here. It's safe and comfortable. Uh, what, with all these mosquitoes? Well, anyway, when you're on safari, you can't expect to stay in any one place indefinitely. Well, we've got to camp somewhere. Well, we'll find other pleasant places. But, Dad, you've had such good luck here. No, I haven't. I haven't got my white crocodile. But you will, darling. Don't be so impatient. Certainly I will if I go look for them. They're not looking for me. Well, if you ask me, I think Eleanor must stay around here a while so she could see more of that, uh... Oh, don't be silly. Goodness, he might even kidnap you again. He's probably forgotten all about us. Well, I hope you forget about him. Come on, Dad, we better help the men pack. We can't start too soon to suit me. Yes, come on. Let's go. and camp there. A white safari is coming to my domain. Bring the girl here. Linda! See what it is, but it's something. I guess I was mistaken. You better be careful, Never. You'll be running out of bullets. Don't worry about that. I've got a whole case I haven't unpacked yet. Oh, this is ridiculous. After all, people probably won't believe us even when we tell them about this trip. I believe anything anyone ever says about Africa from now on. Oh, why couldn't we have done something sensible? Chartered a yacht and gone fishing. Even the president finds that exciting enough. A
looks mighty frail to me. We can cross it. There's a trail ahead that leads right up to it. Well, why can't we look for white crocodiles here? This isn't the place. We gotta go up, cross the bridge, and then go down to where the river winds around. Uh, it's only six kilometers. I don't know that I care to risk it. Well, how about it? Shall we go on? No, I haven't. Let's camp here. It's not much farther. We can make it easy and camp on the other side. I'm too tired to climb that hill. And besides, <gasps> shoot! Thanks, Mrs. Reed. All right. We'll pitch camp and we'll cross tomorrow. Then easy, Kaziapa. Looks cool and nice. Let's have a swim. That's a good idea. Come on, we'll get our suits. I talk too much now, Koki. We go across. Me boss, savvy? No, you little boss. White man read, him big boss. Me tell him no go cross bridge, then I'll obey him no good. Siki and Gunu. Ben Ali made friends. Look, young lady, other side of bridge, taken by men. Tell Chief. Oh, how can I make him understand what I'm talking about? Go. Oh, no more. He says that I can go, but alone. Well, then go on, but hurry. <laughs> Oh, 
way of getting rid of them. I wish I knew how. Leave it alone. Stop it. I don't be a fool. Never let it happen. <clears throat> You want that? Oh, no. Oh, go on. Give it to him. Oh, all right. Is this what you want? Mm. Welcome. I am honored. My people are honored. What's this all about? Won't you sit down? Please, sit down. You might as well enjoy the festivities. 
My cane. It's your turn now. Don't you remember? the white crocodile. Search me, I don't know. Now, how many will this make? Six dozen. Good. Still? I positively forbid it. I told you before, and I'm telling you now, well, you shouldn't even see him again. Well, why not? Why not? Oh, the whole thing's ridiculous. Can you picture us? Walking down the center aisle of a cute cars and swinging on the chandelier. I don't know what to do, but I must see him. Nevin, Nevin, can't you do something?
wonder what the folks back in evansville will say.